using the Tacticam reveal camera right down here. And we've been getting pictures of this buck quite a bit. We know he's been hitting it, but it's mostly been at night. Now it's starting to get to that point where they're getting a little bit more ruddy. You know, it's October 18th. They're, they're starting to move a little bit during the day, or at least close to the shooting light. And uh, I saw too many pictures getting close to daylight on this buck we've been watching for a while. And I said, right now is the time to go. The time is now. I'm going to get out there. Got out. Got this stand set up. This thing sweet if you guys haven't seen it yet. I mean, the JX3 Hybrid. I'm going to buckle in right now, but I'm going to take these off once I get settled in and get ready for the hunt. But it's super cozy, super comfortable, super safe. Get up in the tree wherever you need to get, and I use the wild edge steps to get up here. It's pretty cool because you can just about pick any tree and get up where you need to be. We've been watching him come out into this scrape tree that we transplanted. You may have seen the video where we put up the artificial licking branch, um, and they've been working it pretty good. That and we've got two more on the property over there and over there that they've been hitting too. So we've been getting all kinds of good pictures, and it's looking like you know right now is the time to be out here. So. Super excited. This is actually my first time hunting for a buck this year, so don't have too high hopes, but hey, things are looking right, so we're gonna settle in and see what happens. seemed like he hit him far back. He came through. He, I figured he was going to come out and work the, the artificial scrape tree. He actually came through so quick that he just kind of glanced at it and just kept walking right down. I had to just keep turning with him. It's a good thing I was in this hybrid because I had to keep swiveling right around the tree with him. He was covering distance so quick. He wasn't like scared or anything. He just had a destination he was going to. And, you know, in hindsight, I probably should have tried to to a mouth bleat to get him to stop but he was literally 12 yards from the base of my tree and going by quick and I thought if I make the wrong noise he may bust 30 40 yards out and stop and look and then I'm looking at a bad shot when he was taken off I could see blood coming down the off side and it seemed like it was close to the right spot I'm hoping maybe I got him you know just a little bit back in the lungs I hope it didn't get liver he jumped the fence ran into the neighbor's property uh, we're friends, it shouldn't be a big deal. 
rather than push it, I think I'm just gonna wait. It's super early right now, it's only 8.30. I just did the uh, intro video probably about 15 minutes ago, and I turn and look, and here he comes, coming right at me, about 125 yards away, and he hardly stopped at all. I know the video wasn't the greatest because I was filming through a tree trying to get to him, but he was on him good once he got down here. I think I'm just gonna let it, let myself calm down for about 30 minutes. I'm gonna ease down, I'm gonna check the bolt, it's right down there, see it glowing, see what we got for sign, and then back out. You know, and if it doesn't look great, I'm gonna probably wait for about three or four hours before I go and look at him. I don't wanna screw anything up because he's a nice buck. It's the same one we've been watching for a while. All right, well, turn this off, settle down for a while, and get back to it here and just looking forward to here in just a little bit. We set out Tacticam reveal cameras all over our property. We've got 40 acres here. And usually I just leave this for my wife to hunt and I try and find other places so I'm not stepping on her toes. She had things going on and this dude kept showing up on the Tacticam reveals one too many times. We had planted artificial scrape trees in front of three of our stands that we have set up. And what we did is we used a licking branch, an artificial licking branch, to try and entice these bucks into coming in in front of our Tacticam reveal cameras and start to show themselves, show when they're showing up and when we can get out there, when the right time to be out there is. And, you know, we have so many pictures of different bucks working several of these different mock scrapes that we put in. And it's not, it's not just a mock scrape, it's a, an actual artificial tree that we cut down, moved where we want the scrape to be, we use Hightower Products Licking Branch, and it's got preorbital gland that you can put up there, which really brings them in. And I'm telling you, it took like about a week and a half, and the scrapes were starting to get hit over and over. This guy made the mistake of showing up a couple too many times within the last 24 hours, real close to daylight. And I knew there's a chance that he's getting, even if we're not seeing him on the camera, there's a chance he's in that area during shooting hours. This is my system that I'm using when I'm going out on the public ground, because I'm still hunting public ground for does and turkeys and things like that. I'm using the JX3 Hybrid, and I can put this stand on my back and get right to where I need to be. Then I use the stepladder system from Wild Edge Inc., and this gets me right up the tree. The cool thing about it is you can use these things anywhere you want. It's got such an advantage when it comes to running and gunning on public ground, but why would you just limit it to that? You can use it at home too. So I was able to take the steps, get these right up in the tree, right where I needed it to be, use the JX3, and this thing's sweet because it allowed me to swivel and stay with that deer as he was coming past me. Video was a little shaky. Uh, I was trying to film through the hawk scope here, but I forgot to flip the lens cap up, so it's not as clear as it normally would be, but hey, you can still see what happened. So I felt like I hit him a little bit far back. He took off, jumped the fence, ran onto the neighbor's property, so I actually had to go talk to the neighbors, get everything lined up. He was gracious enough to help me. He even took us out on the side-by-side -side and we were able to use the winch to get it out of there. So, uh, you know, a ton of thanks to him. And if the same situation happens to him, I'll gladly repay the favor. So, all right guys, thanks for watching. That's my Indiana buck for the year. I couldn't be more happy. One less run around for my wife, so I apologize about that. But uh, hey, maybe she'll get a bigger one. <laughs>